Hello YouTube Modeling Community, this is Rusty Roeder uh, with a uh, kind of a mail call, uh, stash ads, uh, and a uh, review of the new tires and wheels that came from Ryan Jones of Z-Force Model Works. Uh, first we're going to cover the whole part. Uh, old Tom Rambler 69 uh, was thinning out the herd his stash uh, and you know let me know that he's getting rid of some and if I was interested in any and of course there's quite a few that I was interested in I also got his new shop card it's got that 32 on there that's the one that uh, placed at Acme beautiful build uh, there's a tribute build to Fred Henry so you know beautiful uh, He's only on YouTube. There's his email if you guys want to look at it. Let him know you want a shop card. Uh, definitely get over there and find his channel. And uh, subscribe to it. Great content. He's a great builder. Uh, and he's turned out to be a really good friend. Uh, so I appreciate him uh, giving me a heads up on the, the kits. So I can get a few. And uh, we'll uh, see what we got. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll go through them one by one. Let me get these out of the way. Okay. So first up on the bench. This is a uh, O scale. This would be for like the uh, big trains. If you wanted to, you know, incorporate this into your layout and all that. Uh, you can get the truck. There's a mixing pan, some little tools. I think there's some barrels and then the driver uh he can sit in the back of the truck right there like where he's at or in the driver's seat police officer motorcycle so you get quite a bit in this kit right there shows you so you get the little mixing pan a hoe and a shovel some barrels both figures motorcycle and the truck this is a multi-piece body but you know i just i love this style of truck from ford and I thought this would be a cool, cool one to have for the uh, small, small scale group builds. Uh, so we'll either do that next year or the year after. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, another truck I've been wanting for a long time. And uh, usually when I go to get it, it's out of stock or I can't find it. Uh, it's the 41 Chevy. Now I do have a resin body. Uh, so this will be like a trans kit for that resin body. Uh, and it gets big, wide, wide tires in the back, slammed to the ground. Uh, I don't like the box art. I don't like these tires and wheels. But, uh, so now i got a good donor kit for the, you know, the resin kit. Uh, so, big plans for this one. Uh, I don't know when we'll get to that one, but it, it won't be too long, hopefully. And I'll set them down here as I get them done. Uh, next was Tweety Pie. Everybody's familiar with this one. I just, I love it. This will get box stock. Nothing done to it. I may add plug wires, but other than that, it's going to be box stock. Just a nice piece to set in my display case. Or in a little display case up on the shelf. One to two. But, uh, we'll definitely get around, uh, this year to building this one. Hopefully. And then, you guys have seen this on a past build. The brown charger that had the, uh, torque thrust on it. Uh, that one was built as a replica of a car I found on Instagram. This one, uh, I've got two or three more Charger ideas lined up. So this will be used for that, one of those three. Uh, which, you know, me, me either Resto Mod or Pro Touring. So, and these are great kits, these special edition. I mean, it, everything goes together nice. Very little effort on my behalf to put into it. Next is the 68 Corvette. Now these are all sealed. Now the only one went was the charger, but every, everything's in there. This one I got mainly because I have two others and they're just parts kits where they've been started and glue bombed or paint bombed. Uh, these are all for the uh, restore job I'm doing that's in my display case there. If you guys remember the green, the green one with the uh, beige uh, sun visors. 
Uh, I restored the whole front end of it was smashed down. The A pillars were broke off. And it's like, you know, most people just be a total waste. But I was like, hey, you know what? I want to tinker with it and see if I can restore it and put it back. And, and that's all it was about. It wasn't about having a finished build. It was always about could I restore the body and get it back. It had seven coats of paint on it. Uh, di several different coats of clear in between the layers of paint. It was It was horrible. But I stripped it. I sanded it, I reworked it, I m melted plastic for the front and, and bent it and manipulated it and put it all back together. And the only thing I got left is on the driver's side right about here, the A-pillar has come loose. So I need to do a little sanding uh, and I'm going to pin it this time and then re-glue it and then touch up the paint. But this kit is going to go to finish that one out, the green one. Uh, this also will go to build another one and maybe possibly another one because I have two more up on the shelf. If you guys see right there. And it, between the three kits, there's enough to build three Corvettes. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to get one that's actually sealed. And, you know, I, now I can finish, finish it out where I was just going to leave the body the way it was. Uh, last but not least is another 32 high boy and chances are uh, I, one of the sets of tires and wheels that Ryan sent are going to go for this one here uh, the other one will get the tires and the wheels from the 32 I'm working on now which are kind of like a Hillebrand salt flat these are beautiful tires and wheels. And, and, you know, I'm not a big kit wheel tire guy, but I'll definitely be using these on the other high boy I have. So, I've got them put together. That way I can get them packaged up and put in the box with the other 32 because it is open. This one's sealed. So, uh, but that's my haul I got from uh, Old Tom and uh, the haul over the weekend. I think you guys saw the Dodge Ram. I think I showed that. Uh, if I didn't, I picked up that kit at Holly's. Uh, it was $12.99. I've always wanted this truck. Uh, I want it lowered. I don't want those tires and wheels. But everything else, box stock. Same paint job, blue, white stripes. Uh, I think I want to do a two-tone gray interior. And, yeah, it'll get wider tires and lowered. And we'll run the V12 or V10, whatever, V10, uh, in that, and, uh, we'll, you know, give it some sweet little gentle touches here and there, uh, and then I got a, quite a bit more craft paint, um, some of this is mostly for the, uh, Viking ship we look at, you, I told you guys, that's from, uh, Claymore Miniatures, uh, I got some raw umber, focus, there we go, Barn wood. We got some burnt umber. We got a couple shades of blue. Uh, this one is slate blue. And this is navy blue. Uh, and then back there is probably about 20 or 30 more bottles of crap paint. And this is what I use on all my interiors, guys. Either this or the Vallejo. Uh, you know, paints. Because... As everybody knows, those interiors parts are so small. If you make a mistake, it's easy to come in and just wash it up. Just a little soap and water, toothbrush, scrub it, scrub it all off, start over. You don't have to worry about stripping, you know, lacquer paint or, you know, enamel or whatever it is you're using. Uh, these work really great for that kind of stuff. Plus for dioramas, for, you know, whatever. Uh, mainly paint and figures. You know, I, I water it down on a wet palette. Uh, they don't have as much pigment as the Vallejo. But I'm getting probably four times the amount in one of these for 63 cents versus $5 for a little bottle of Vallejo. I still use Vallejo. I still love Vallejo. I'll never stop using it. But this is a great addition at, a, at, at the balling on a budget. I can ball on a budget with this and get the same results. It may take more layers of that to build up the color than it would Vallejo. Vallejo is usually two to three coats. That would probably take 
five, maybe six, so twice the amount, but still 63 cents a bottle. Uh, you can't beat it. Uh, we did get in some, uh, show you from Hobby Nut Models. We got the carburetor gold. It's like a greenish gold. Uh, we got 57 T-Bird pink, coral mist. We also got, I think I already showed this one, Pontiac engine, the blue enamel, the metallic. So we got those in. Uh, we got a new bottle of thinner. That lovely thinner is awesome. I, I, you guys hear Matthew at Model Car Videos talk about it all the time, and it's true. He, he's not just, you know, spouting stuff off. This stuff is excellent. And I know, uh, brain fart in the garage with Zippy. Right there's a shop card. Uh, that's why he uses for all of his thinning too and you know he he boasts about it it's because it is true guys you get a chance to get you a ball of this you know always down at the bottom of these videos is the hobby net model link just hit it and go pick you up some of the stuff you're not gonna be sorry i mean i literally i use this in the paint and i put it in my 2k clear and i've got less work to do at the end when i'm wet sanding and polishing than i did if i didn't use this i've always used a thinner in my clear coat for my last coat to level it out but it doesn't work as well as this does and I you can see that's the lacquer thinner I use there a clean strip uh, I usually keep that just to clean my airbrush and the parts and all that but this is what I use for all my paints and clears and I was almost out see I'm about down to that bottom bottom line here uh, I don't use this for any cleaning or you know uh, spraying through the airbrush. I use the cheap stuff That's about the same price as what this is uh, I think it's like seven dollars or something like that eleven dollars whatever. I can't remember what it is, but It's great to have in your arsenal uh, You can see that big ball Vallejo surface primer Any paint job I do that is a water-based paint like Createx uh, Craft paints Vallejo's, anything like that, that's the primer I use. You can get that on eBay, or not eBay, but Amazon. It wasn't expensive. Ten, between seven and twelve dollars, let's say. I can't remember exactly, but, you know, there's my 2K clear I use. That was sixty dollars, but I've not even put a dent in that can of clear yet, or in the reducer. So, and, and you know, I just keep the lids tight, and it's, it's good, and have no issues with it. Uh, and then I have my hardener for MCW right here. I put it in a different bottle. Uh, this still, it still seizes the lids up on these too. But, you know, they make that little tool you fit on there and it'll take it right off. Uh, and then I've got all my Mr. Color primers back there. The light gray, white, and black. That's primarily all I use for my lacquer paint jobs and MCW paint jobs. And then, you know, of course, splash and gravity colors. It's all goes over top of that so I mean you guys get a good idea of my paint arsenal uh, we do have an order in through uh, model roundup uh, those are my two go to places model roundup and uh, Mark at Hobby Nut Models I always go to Mark first uh, Hobby Nut Models we got some other stuff coming in for Jenny's build Stuff I need for my 32 uh, because I got my wire looms out and my wires won't fit in the uh, wire looms that I have. Uh, I am using a Morgan's Automotive Detail distributor on the 32, and they are tiny wires, but they're still too small or too big to go. They'll go in the looms, but they're too tight, and it wants to strip the actual wire off the end of the spark plug, and I don't want to take a chance of that. So I got some different uh, looms coming, uh, some detail stuff. For the 32 for the engine uh, you'll get to take a look at that Friday I did get a lot of work done on the engine uh, and that's primarily all I've worked on this week uh, like I said it's been a busy week so let's get to it here uh, we're about 14 minutes in I don't want to make this too long so as I told you Ryan Jones is always about once a month sends us a package uh, for you guys to take a look at kind of get you excited uh, let you know where you can get them at and now he's putting the prices on them so you're getting a good idea of what the prices are now remember these prices don't reflect the shipping 
So there'll be an additional charge of tax and the shipping uh, when you purchase these, but still a great price for you know a particular build you're wanting to do and you want that one set of awesome wheels this is the guy to check out and now you're also getting a sticker with your order which is cool you know you got, everybody's into trading shop cars or shop stickers uh this is definitely going on the fridge so i appreciate it uh ryan uh first set we're going to look at I, i'm not gonna, a lot of these i'm not going to take out of the back packages uh there is one set we will actually two sets we will take out of the package uh, you should be able to get a pretty good look at these. Uh, so up first is the Centerline Scorpions. These are an 18 by 9 for the front and 18 by 11 for the rear. Uh, these are available through Z-Force Bottle Works website, which is always down in the links, uh, for $16. And these are a very cool wheel. I remember back in the day seeing a lot of cars and trucks with these on them. Uh, you know, aluminum, polished aluminum wheel. They were, they were sharp. Uh, you can kind of see the width. You know, the rear is definitely scaled right. Two inches wider than the front. Uh, all around. These would be great on a Camaro, a Trans Am. Uh, you know, the 70s, 80s trucks. Uh, e even up in the 90s, it was still kind of popular having those, you know, billet aluminum uh, wheels on them. Uh, let's see, we got another, yeah, here we go. This is another set of centerline brand wheels. These are 18 by nine for the front, 18 by 11 for the rear centerline thrusters. These are also available at Z-Force Model Works website for $16 a set. These are very cool. And I actually have a uh, build plant. You know, it's been around through my head. Uh, I got pictures stashed somewhere of these wheels on that vehicle and that's what you know it's what always draws me to a, a, a an idea for a build is the tires and wheels that are on the car in the picture i see and of course the color of the car uh sometimes i have changed the color of the of the body uh but always try to get the tires and wheels because that's what attracted me first uh so very cool and they got the nice little center caps with them uh Let's see what we got here next. Okay, these are uh, race line outbreaks. Uh, 22 by 9 for the front and 22 by 12 for the rear. These are great for a truck uh, to get that slammed look. Available at Z-Force Model Works website for $18 a set. And guess where they're going, guys? You got it. Can you see it back there? Right there. That's what's going on that Dodge Ram. And I will, I'm not going to put a full blown custom chassis underneath it. The body and the bed is one piece. But I will modify the chassis in the rear and the front to get the right height that I want uh, and put these underneath there. Uh, these will probably get murdered out. And if I murder them out, the truck will probably be either black or a gray with white stripes and murdered out wheels. Uh, the bumpers and everything will get painted body color. Uh, so, you know, I definitely got ideas for it. And I've been wanting that kit for a long time. So now, now I've got it. Now i got the tires and wheels. I will use the kit engine. We'll just dress it up. Uh, you know, give it all the little fine details. But that's what these are going on. So, get you set while they last. Uh, and you can see, there's a sticker inside the package. So, next set, uh, these are GM Truck Rally with 4x4 four four center caps and brake set. These fit Desert Dog tires, so like the tires that come in that, was it, Big Game Hunter? Or big, big Game Country Pickup, the ones camouflaged. Those tires that's in that kit, these will fit right on. Uh... These are also available at Z-Force Model Works website for $18. Uh, these are 18 by 13 GM Truck Rally. And these are wicked. You got the center caps for the 4x4, two-piece wheel. You get the brakes, and then you just use your kit tires, and you're done. That's, that's you know, Ryan's always thinking, how can I 
you know, just keep this going and, and make things attractive and functional. And right here, because most of the time, as you see, guys, you get a set and the tires are already on them. This can be used a hundred different ways by using the kit tires. Because sometimes kit tires are really cool. They're they're nice. They're, they're molded perfect. They look nice. They fit the part. And you want to use them. But you're like, well, I really don't like those wheels that come with the kit. Right there, guys. We'll get up close and personal so you can see. See, two-piece wheel. Got the, the back sleeve and the wheel center. And then the front sleeve. And the brakes key right into the back. And then they go right inside the big rubber tires that are already black. All you got to do is sand them down a little bit. Weather them a little bit. And then you can paint these to match your truck body or, you know, paint them uh, chrome. And then the aluminum in the center. You know, sky's the limit on choices. But those are awesome. Uh, and then we got this set here. These are probably going to go on one of my 72s that I got up here in the stash. Because I got three of them and... I've got all, i got probably 10 different versions of a C10 I want to build, the 72 Chevy. Uh, these are Koi's, 20 by 9 for the front, 20 by 12 for the rear. Koi's C10, available through Z-Force Model Works website, $20. Now these have got all the center caps. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There's quite a bit of glare. But you get center caps and there's the wheels. Very, very high detail. Fits the part perfect. Just a little lower profile tire. So you get that Resto Mod look to your, uh, you know, vintage vehicle. Uh, yeah, cool. 20 bucks, that's that's well worth it because these, I'm telling you what, the center caps on there and these painted right, outstanding. You know, you really want to make your build different and, and stand out. That That's that's the one. Uh, you know, along with any other, other wheels because it's, you know, in the modeling world, you know, kits just don't come with the modern age tires and wheels. Uh, they're always the Kragers or the Keystones. Uh, every once in a while, you'll see a new, new age style tire and wheel, and they're great. I keep them for future builds, or you know, if I just I just don't want to use any of these, and I, I have another choice to go to. Uh, now these, we've seen these before uh, because I've ordered ordered them for myself uh, these are well Venturas 20 by 9 for the front and 20 by 12 for the rear also available in 22 by 9 and 22 by 12 okay so a little bit bigger so it'd be good for a truck uh, we're using these for a car these are also available at Z-Force Model Works website and these are $18 a set now you guys remember Project Sister and All the white Yanko Nova it's pearl white with the black stripes. Got the big, you know, pro mod hood on it, uh, scoop. And we want to transform that to a pro touring Nova. Same color scheme, same paint job, same interior. Uh, we're going to a normal factory cowl. Uh, and we're going to modify the suspension and put the big white tires. And those are the ones. And these will get murdered out. And when I say murdered out, they're going to be all black. Uh, they'll be like a satin finish. Uh, and you can see the width. See the, the tire pattern design. That lighting in here, guys, say is really horrible. I don't know why. There you go. And just beautiful tire and wheel. And that was that's a front tire. And then uh, I'll show you a back tire here real quick. So we can compare them. Uh, you know the widths get that wheel in there oh well that's what was wrong these all come unglued so you guys can paint all the pieces separately and then put them together and then you glue them uh, and I like that so you can see the width difference so these will be really nice with that Nova sitting low little rake and then uh, pro tour it out, uh, you know, front suspension, rear suspension. Uh, we may go full custom tubular frame underneath it. I don't know yet, but you know, it's going to be it's going to be a project, and they're going to sit side by side. And that way, you can see transformation from one to the other. But these are the tires and wheels for that. Uh, I did order a set 
for it. Uh, and I think the back tires are even wider, so I may use those on Project Sentinel, but these will go for the one of the uh, 70 and a half Camaros up here I've already started. So I'll probably use those on that. So one or the other, that's what they're getting used on. Great, great wheel. I love that style wheel. Now, for you guys, your old school hot rodders, whether it be a truck, whether it be a car, I'm gonna get the parts out here first. So give me a second. That way I can put them back together for one. So give me just a second here. All right, there's that one. That one. And, uh, nope. Got it upside down. Okay. So, these are Radir. I, I don't know how to pronounce the words. A or R A D I R. Tri rib threes. Uh, they're available in 19 by 6 for the front. 20 by 14 for the rear and they come with knockoffs three prong knockoffs uh radier white wall cheaters deluxe radial white wall fronts uh future release for vcg resins so remember guys get over there and you know on instagram even if you don't want to post anything on instagram get instagram just to be able to find these guys because they're not always available through you know www dot whatever uh you know, you can go right there and you can go right to their homepage and hit the link and it'll take you right to the, where you can buy, buy their product. Uh, so it's just a kind of a resource information. It's good to have, even if you don't want to get on there and post or follow anybody. Uh, you know, all you got to do is start following this gentleman. You, you'll be able to see when these products are coming out because he advertises uh, via Instagram and you'll know when these come available. So we're getting these early. Uh, and he may offer an 18 by six for the front also. So you can get a little shorter tire and wheel for the front if that's what you're looking for. So it'll really give that hot rod, hot rod look. Now these are absolutely stunning. Nice deep rear wheel for the back with a separate white wall. So there's one, two, three pieces for the wheel and then the tire. And you gotta check out the detail on that tire. You set little checker flags on the cheater slick on both sides of it. Once you get these painted, I'd say white or black wash them, but it's not going to matter. That once you get these tires painted black, those are, those are going to really show up on their own. And that's just really cool. These are going to go on that 32 High Boy we looked at that I got from Tom. Uh, and here's the front tire. You can see the tread pattern on that. I don't know how to get this thing to show. There we go, a little bit better. And they're all gonna fall apart on me. So you can see the front wheel, same way. Three pieces. There's your separate white wall. So you can just paint, let it dry, matte coat it, or satin if you want it to be kind of shiny. Uh, your beauty ring. Uh, the beauty ring is what holds the white wall in, even though the tire is recessed to hold the white wall. So you can glue the white wall in first and then put your chrome ring in after or black ring, however you want to do it. And then you have the back wheel and the wheel center. And then the knockoffs go in the center. The knockoffs are, I've already lost them, uh, right here. I'm not taking them out because I will lose them. Kind of see them there. Even the, the three prongs are opened up in the middle of them. So you got super high detail. Out of these and these go in the center of the wheel so they're actually four piece wheel uh you know the back back sleeve and wheel center is one your white wall is two and then your front ring is three and then your knockoff is four so you four piece wheel and then the tire and you can see the tire is recessed in the front to accommodate the white wall and then your beauty ring goes in and kind of holds all that together and then your wheel center and back goes in through the back that way you can paint your tires separately you can do do everything separately and prep it. It makes it so much easier. And for, I don't know what VCG resins is going to sell them for, but I would say, you know, between $16 and $20, maybe $22 for a set, because these are really cool. These are really different than anything that's out there. 
and you guys need to get over there and uh, show him some love when he puts these out and get you a set or two. Because, I mean, on, a, on an old pickup truck, rat rod pickup truck, or even a custom one, that's show rod. These are beautiful. I'm definitely going to be using these. Uh, so, you know, that's all we got from him. Uh, like I said, his link will be down below as is Mark at Hobby Nut Models. Uh, later today, there'll be another video coming out uh, of the open box review for this month. Uh, and you guys will get to take a look at that. Uh, the other parts for it that I was 3D printing, unfortunately, it is my motherboard because I ran a print uh, yesterday. It was a 13 hour print uh, for the open box review and it failed miserably. So I definitely got a, a lighting issue or curing issue uh, with with my printer. So I got I to gotta order the motherboard. Uh, I got to get a little money together first uh, and then it'll take probably a week or two before I get the part in and then uh, I'll get it put in. It's pretty simple to put it in, uh, but you know, it still requires time. So uh, I won't have anything ready, but I will show you the failed parts and kind of we'll walk through the other parts that did successively print. Uh, we'll look at all that and that's, I have to modify this kit because it's designed for a long bed, but you'll, you'll, you'll get the gist of what I'm doing with it. Uh, anyways, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, if you're not, just hit it and while you're at it, hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when all these videos come out. And like I said, look for it later today. Uh, it'll probably be later this evening. This is early, early morning uh, for that open box review. Uh, and uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, get over there to Z Force. Show the gentleman some love. He's got a lot of a lot of tires and wheels up on his website now. And they're like I said, tax and shipping is going to be additional. But it, guys, it moves. Oh my God, they're so worth it. And, and we're so quick to drop, you know. $15, whatever, for a set of Pegasus tires that are just so outdated now because they've been around so long. The only Pegasus tires and wheels I use are the Torque Thrusts. But now that I can get them and they look better through Ryan, that, you know, I don't even use Pegasus tires and wheels anymore. I do, I do like getting the rubber tires because I got tons of tires and wheels that'll fit in Pegasus tires. Or pe yeah, Pegasus tires. And uh, I, I like their tires. I just, the, the wheel options are. Mm, Nothing against them. I, I still use a lot of their stuff. It's just wheel selections outdated. Ryan's always keeping it fresh, guys. Definitely go over and check him out. Uh, get you a set or two. Uh, definitely. I mean, you, you truck guys. Where did they go? Right here. You truck guys, you can't beat a set of these on your next 4x4 build. Or on, even if you want to put those kind of tires and wheels on their Jeep or whatever it be. You know, you got... A set of those tires. I know everybody's got a set of those tires in their stash. I've got two. Uh, because one I use for a commission build and the tires, I didn't use those tires. I had regular tires on it. And then the kit itself that I have left the build up there has a uh, set in it as well. So I'll probably have to order a set of these from Ryan for myself and have two sets. I, I just, I love, love these deals. So, you guys get over there and check him out. And remember, now you get a cool sticker with your order. So, that's kind of a win-win, you know. Most guys charge 2 or $3 for a sticker. Now you're getting, you know, $18, 19 20 You're getting a $21 value. And it's going to cost you probably about $22, $23 for shipping. Well worth it. Well worth it. I, I'm always excited because I never know exactly what he's going to send. Uh, maybe one or two sets I know he's going to send, but, you know, he's kind of been, you know, doing it like once a month. And it, it's always, you know, like five, six, seven sets of wheels. And I'm, I'm always floored when I see him. I'm like, oh, I hope this is one set that he's sending. And, you know, and I'm so excited to open the box like a kid at Christmas time and, and to see that, he, you know, he has sent them. So it, it's really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, their links will be down below. Go show all of them some love. Hobby Nut Models pick you up a jar of the MCW paints we looked at. Paint brushes, whatever. He's got it all. Uh, a used kit, new kit, vintage kit. He's, he, Mark's got a lot of stuff. You guys just need to kind of peruse through. 
at least once a week, I'm on there for over an hour looking at everything he has uh, available. Uh, and that's how I make my wish list and uh, want list to come to the show or channel uh, to be able to show you guys. Uh, it's just it's just an option. And by you guys going down there, that that helps that come come to uh, you know full circle. Uh, and sometimes, you know, I, I wait and I have to save up money and then I buy them and I bring them to the channel anyways. But that's where I'm getting it is from through Mark. So definitely go down and hit it. At least go go peruse the interwebs there at a store and uh, you're, you're going to find something you like or something that you want or you've been wanting. Uh, and if you don't see it, direct email the gentleman. You know, he there's the, webs, the email address is on there and, and talk to him. Let him know what you're looking for and... Uh, see if he can help you so and he, he is willing to do that so uh i thank you guys all my past present future subscribers uh i look forward to the comments of these tires and wheels uh anything particular you saw today that you want to see more in depth let me know i'll i'll throw it up on the next video we'll we'll actually open it up and get through it and i'll show you how they go together and you know the detail in them and all that but uh as it stands right now like there's one two Three, four, five, uh, six, six builds I got that accommodate six out of these seven wheels. And there's one set that's left over, but I do have a possibility for it too. So all seven of these wheels are, are going to be on upcoming builds. So you guys are going to get to see them. So that's really cool. So I thank you guys. Like I said, look forward to that video coming out later today. Uh, and uh, I think that's about it. Uh, we get anything else in through the week, uh, we'll uh, just show it on Friday's video. Uh, and look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. So this is Rusty Rotor. I'm out.